Hello heroes and villains, welcome to Multiverse. Today we are going to take a look at how to get the destroyed death metal guitar. Let's get this party started. So the death metal guitar is the current omnipotent items that we are getting with this new DLC. I can get a quick look at what it looks like. I will take a better look at it in just a minute. And the question I've seen some of you have is how or how do we get the death metal guitar? There are a few steps that you have to go through. So you will have to be combat rating 350 and when you start the Dark Knights DLC, there's a mission what's simply called the Dark Knights that you will get. Well, well, you will have various objectives that you have to complete. So you'll get some sort of intro message, you'll get uh, the proclamation from uh, Perpetua, you'll get another message from Alex Luthor. Then you are going to have to go to the Death Metal Washington DC to talk to Alex Luthor. And you will have to complete a mission for either Nubia, John Stewart, or Miss Martian, or Jimmy Olsen. Basically, you have to play a solo mission. Then you will have to play the duo mission. Then you will have to play the four player mission. And last but not least, you will have to play the eight player mission. And once you do all of that, then you will have to come and see your friend, the Batman. You can see he's in the middle Washington, Washington DC open world map. So he's right here on the, on the rooftop over here. It used to be, uh, when I made my video on the test server, it used to be in the corner over here. But uh, by the time they, they put the, the content on live, uh, the Batman actually ended up being here. Uh, that's one of the reasons I don't like uh, making videos on the test server. Uh, sadly, by the time things go on the live server, uh, things can be quite different. So you are going to have to talk to our friend the Batman, but uh, that's not where you get the guitar. Then once you do talk to the Batman, then you will gain access to the little vendor over here. And that is where you can get the destroyed death metal guitar. And it will cost you 25 death metal coins in order to be able to purchase it. And that is also where you can purchase some of the components you need to upgrade it. Although in the case of the death metal picks, eh, you get those uh, just playing uh, diverse missions, the same with the heavy metal resonance. Although in those cases you can purchase them also here from this vendor, but you are limited in the amount you can purchase. Like you can purchase 3 heavy metal resonance, or you can purchase 10 death metal pick per week. So these are the amounts per week. So basically, when, if let's say I purchase 10 of them, then I would be loot locked until the next Thursday where I could purchase uh, 10 more. I guess uh, you can purchase these here in case you don't get them as random drops for whatever reasons. And also once you upgrade your augments, your adaptive augments, you can see there's an ability called the uh, Rocker's Rucksack. It gives you an increased chance to receive uh, death metal picks and heavy metal resonance in Dark Knight's content. I'm a bit surprised, uh, normally it was only in the uh, on-duty menu missions that you would get uh, this ability in the past, but uh, here it just says uh, Dark Knight's content. So I assume it also includes the open world. So if somehow you're unlucky and you do not get those as random drops, you do have the option to buy them here. What I strongly suggest is that normally these are account bound. So what I, what I would suggest that you do is that uh, don't purchase them with your, uh, your main character. Purchase those items with your alternate characters. So use your alternate characters to purchase those items and then give those items to your main character. So enough stalling, let us purchase the destroyed death metal guitar. I was going to say that sadly it will replace the brutal logic wings of omnipotence, but uh, the gear we're getting, the trash gear we're getting in this game is already better than, uh, than the, those wings. So let us equip the death metal guitar. Although the back piece I have right now is uh, slightly better than the, the guitar, but we are going to upgrade the guitar. So if we go to the Fortify tab, we can see here our little guitar over here. So we are going to need some death metal picks in order to be able to upgrade it. It seems to be a thousand XP for each rank. So in theory, we should be able to bring it up to rank uh, rank 11. But uh, odds are, as, as, the, as the guitar goes up in rank, oh, actually, if we take at rank 10, it's uh, 15,000. So it does start at 1000 XP per rank, but as the guitar goes up in rank, it will require more and more XP to go to the next rank. So let us consume our death metal picks right now. So it brought us to rank 8. So as you can see, to go from rank 8 to rank 9, it will require us 2000 XPs. And once we do reach rank 10, we will have to break through. Uh, so we will need... Uh, five heavy metal resonance so we already have those and we will need one death metal amp 
So we already saw that the death metal amp can be gotten uh, here. So it is going to cost us 40 death metal tokens in order to purchase one death metal amp. Oh, and I almost forgot. Let us equip the guitar. And it should support, oh, and does support an emblem. You can see our uh, Legion emblem over here. And let's see if we can uh, tweak the colors at least a little bit. So it does support three colors. Uh, let's go like this. And this here is the regular version of the style. Once we do upgrade uh, the guitar to the max rank, then we should get an enhanced version of that same guitar. And once you do get the guitar on one of your characters, you will be able to unlock the guitar for every single character in your account, but it will cost you 35 replay badges each time. Let us do that right now. And obviously, as you can see, you can equip a material. So you can see I'm using the dark metal chromo material. Obviously, you don't have to use the material if you don't want to. But uh, if you have it, why not use it? Uh, the accessory was a bit uh, distracting. So again, here you can see you have the emblem on the guitar. So this here is an official Black Lantern guitar, I swear. Uh, luckily, since I have a lot of alternate characters, I already have some definite base on some of my characters. So let us trade them to my main character. So thanks to my alternate characters, I was able to get uh, 28 death metal picks and 18 heavy metal resonance. Uh, sadly, I still don't have the death metal amps, so I'm going to have to purchase those uh, next time, I guess. But let's at least bring our guitar to uh, rank 10. Even if we cannot break through just yet. So sadly, I should have saved up uh, some of my some of my death metal coins. Uh, sadly, I was a foolish fool. Normally, I save up my coins for some of the new rewards that we should get at some point. But this time was a bit of a foolish fool. I wanted to be able to show off the uh, bat metal style, so I did spend uh, more coins than I should have early on. Oh well. Yeah, here you can see the guitar with the ultraviolet chroma. Ah, I love it. So there you go guys. So that is how you can get the death metal guitar. Uh, again, once I manage to break through the various ranks, I'll make a video about it.